Mm-hmm. Crooked Dems go into hiding after Secret Service agent goes rogue on major cover-up. By Al Waisman for FreedomDaily.com. At this point in time, even those of us who foolishly had serious doubts about the existence of a shadow government in D.C. can't refute the fact of its existence, especially since we are now seeing the whole Democrat Party coming together to shield their superstar who made out of Teflon uh, for eight years former President Barack Hussein Obama from the multiple crimes he committed against then-candidate and private citizen Donald Trump, his campaign, and his family. Former U.S. Secret Service agent, NYPD officer, and radio talk show host Dan Bongino sat down with Fox and Friends weekend on Saturday morning to discuss the growing political scandal breaking. As we can clearly see in the video above by Dan Bongino's response, there has to be some kind of Democrat shenanigans involved. They were very adamant about being careful when releasing the Nunez four-page memo, but when it comes to their own 10-page memo, President Donald Trump doesn't have the right to have it reviewed before signing for its release. Sounds kind of odd, don't you agree? The Democrats will go to whatever length to protest the person they have left in their party who is made out of Teflon, former President Barack Hussein Obama. And the truth of the matter in this surveillance case is the FBI didn't go rogue and start surveilling private citizens on its own. This order came from the very top, from the liberal, liberal messiah that is Barack Hussein Obama the same way it did when the IRS went after Tea Party groups and their members. Exactly correct. Exactly. Let's take a listen here. Dan Bongino, former NYPD officer, former Secret Service agent, and host of the Dan Bongino Show, which you can find on any, anywhere where podcasts are available. Dan, thank you for joining us this morning. So your reaction to how Democrats are reacting to the, the White House decision to say, hey, let's make sure we're not releasing anything that compromises national security in this memo. Pete, the Democrats have forfeited all credibility on this case. They haven't told the truth from day one. Pete, here's what's even more tragically amusing about the Democrats. They step on, they lie so much, they step on their own stories. They told us before the release of the Nunez Republican memo, remember this, they said, Oh my gosh, sources and methods, it's going to jeopardize national security. Nobody should see this. Cover it up, sweep it under the rug. And then the memo came out. Oh, this is a big nothing burger. It's a total dud. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. They, they have not told the truth from day one on this. They have forfeited every all their credibility, and this is important. They are covering up what I believe to be the biggest scandal in modern uh, political history, and that is the spying on of the Trump team by the, uh, the Obama administration, with no evidence to do so. All right. So, go ahead. Well, I was just saying, I love that you call it Obamagate because it really goes all the way there and, and he's sort of gotten a little bit of a pass, the ex-president on that. Um, my question is about um, the, 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 the underlying facts of the memo, of the original uh, Republican memo. Uh, those who have seen it say that, or those who have seen the Democrat memo say that that memo does not undercut what was said about the FISA um, uh, agreement or the, 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 the proof for the FISA agreement, that it hasn't undercut that. So what are the, when this all comes out, and we expect that it will come out, aren't they going to just have to eat their words? Aren't they going to have to backtrack on all of this? Yeah, Rachel, you make a great point. Listen, the Democrats can put out all the memos you want. Put out them, put out memos on the weather. Great. I don't care what you put out memos on. The bottom line is the Democrat memo does not undercut the essence of this scandal. And let's uncomplicate this for everybody watching. The Obama team spied on the Trump team. The information used was presented through a dossier. The information in the dossier came from the Russians and it came from the Clinton campaign. What does that mean? What it means is the Clinton campaign hijacked the justice system. They, the justice system was basically bought off by the highest political bidder, and that was the Clinton campaign, to gather information from their own consigliaries to get in the hands of the FBI to use as an excuse 
to, uh, to spy on the Trump team. Nothing in the Democrat memo is going to change that. One more point on this. This is important, too. The Democrats can't run from this anymore, Rachel. There are transcripts. There are tr court transcripts of people in court with their right hand up saying, I swear to this, they cannot run from this. There's no plausible deniability for the Democrats. Dan, I got to quickly ask you about, it seems like every time I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you about something to do with immigration. This one, very serious, an illegal immigrant cheered after being found guilty of killing two California deputies and threatens to kill more. Take a listen to this. You find the defendant guilty. So what do you make of that? You know, Griff, I, I have to be candid with you. I, I'm, I'm tired of this debate, and I know a lot of Americans are too, because this is not complicated. You have to be a knucklehead to not understand this, okay? Listen, if you're in the country illegally, you should not be here. I get it. A good swath of people who come here illegally may not commit additional crimes later. Fine. But some do. And some of the ones who do kill California deputies, they are now, this is families that are now missing. They're, they're gone. They are, there's a big vacuum at the kitchen table right now because this man beast decided to kill two deputies and should have never been in the country in the first place. This is not complicated to figure out. You want to come here? There's an open door. It's called the legal process. My wife did it. Is it complicated? Yes. Yeah. Is it ugly at times? Absolutely. But there's a way to do it. You don't get to jump in the window because some of the people who jump in that window go on to do devastating, horrible things like this savage did, killing those two deputies. And it's a darn shame we have to have what's this, this conversation over and over again. I, I, mm -hmm. Really, I'm, I'm tired of it. And well, you thank should you. Be too. Thank you, Dan. I mean, that's why I asked you. We keep having this conversation, but you put it very, very uh, clearly uh, what people need to be paying attention to. Dan Bongino, thank you very much. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate Thanks, Dan. it. Yeah, right to the point. Yeah. So this whole mess will prove to be larger than Watergate uh, ever dreamed it could be, but... In President Nixon's case, he didn't have a media or political party that would protect him because of his skin color. And via barbed wire for Richard Nixon, it was a cover-up surrounding illegal wiretapping. For Bill Clinton, it was lying under oath about sex with an intern. Obama thinks he's untouchable. He believes he's above the law. Evidently, he's right. What will it take for our spineless U.S. Congress to impeach this tyrant? The, impeach? What do you mean impeach? This is uh, way beyond partisan politics. This is about justice. This is about safety of the American people. Barack Hussein Obama is America's biggest threat to national security. He's an enemy within. It's official. America is no longer a constitutional republic under this progressive nut we've become a banana republic. The president's uh, latest act of lawlessness is beyond the pale. There is no question whatsoever that by freeing to kill again five known mass murdering high-level Muslim terrorists in exchange for accused army deserter Bo Bergdahl, Obama broke the law. Okay, we know all about this, but uh, the thing is that uh, we're sick of this. Uh, going on and uh, basically that's the bottom line what will it take for a spineless u.s congress to overcome this deathly fear of being called racist and file articles this must be old here uh, file articles of impeachment against barack hussein obama i think uh yeah this is kind of weird um they should put them away that's what i think this uh this is probably a miss uh, uh, Im probably taken from an older article, yet the top part is uh, new. I don't know what they're doing here. But we get the gist. Um, the, the fact of the matter is the Democrats uh, are running, and they should run, but they are not uh, looking to uphold uh, justice. They're just looking to get their own uh, agenda passed, but it's not going to work. No matter, it's like Bongino says, no matter what the Democrats put up, there's paperwork on this. Back it up with paperwork. Where is it? We have the paperwork. 
uh, Trump and his family and his team were illegally spied on, upon using Russian sources and Hillary Clinton paid for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.